everybody. It's Sean again with We Review You. And you know, I was out here in Wares Valley, and I come out to see some friends of ours out here. And, of course, you know, I've told you guys about the Sloppy Hog Burger Joint, and I've told you about Hillbilly's Restaurant. But you guys know in between the two of them, there is a location called the Wares Valley Coffee and Snack Company. And as they say, they are the friendliest coffee shop in the Smokies. I'm going to tell you why. I met the owner. We're going to go and talk to him right now. So come along as today, Wares Valley Coffee and Snack Company, we review you. Yeah, excited about this one. Hey, welcome to our channel. It's Sean. Christy's on another assignment right now, but I'm not here covering this one. I want to welcome you to our channel. Show you a little bit more about a new local gym that I found. If you're in the Wares Valley area, I'm going to tell you about it. It's called the Wares Valley Coffee and Snack Company. Really great people. I got to meet the owners. If you can stick around, you're going to hear our conversation that we had and tell a little bit more about the products that he has in here. You're going to be surprised of where they come from. I really, really respect people that support local like we do here at We Review You. Meet the owner. We're going to tell you all about his products. I like this delicious jerky that he has over here. You know, when you walk into a place that has jerky, well, let me just let you tell him. <laughs> let, let Gene tell you what he's going to say here about his jerky. But I was impressed by this wall. He had a huge setup of it and display right there for you to sample all of the wares, as you can see right there in front of you. So, really great product, uh, really great location. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and bring Gene on and let you guys know a little bit more about his store from the owners. Here's the conversation we had. Yeah, and like I said, so let's go over and see Gene. Hey, there he is. How's it going? How are you today? Good. And you have just a couple of minutes. I know you've been really busy, but tell us more about what you were telling me. This jerky right here caught my eye right as I were Well, the smell, first of all, got me the coffee. But tell us a little bit more about the Where's Valley uh what was it, the Snack Company Gourmet to Go? Tell us a little bit about the beef jerky. So we're Wears Valley Coffee and Snack Company, and uh, we're Gourmet to Go. And the reason why we call it Gourmet to Go is because we have a small shop and we don't have any seating. We are slowly developing some seating outside, so Gourmet to Go. Sure. No, I love it. The jerky is a top quality brisket jerky. It's got a lot of flavors that you typically can't find in your quick stops. Okay. We pride ourselves on our jerky. It's 100% United States beef, okay. United States labor, United States packaging, United States pride. Oh, I love it. I don't feel, honestly, that you could find a better product, but of course I'm going to be a little bit more biased. Well, why wouldn't you be at your shop? And I see you have it set up right now. What I'm seeing, the local prices of today, uh, $11 each, or you get a special four for 40 That's correct. And they can come in and sample these right up front. We encourage, please use the tongs that they have provided. <laughs> don't stick your hands in the jars. So they're $11 a bag, and we do the four for 40 because by the time you sample through 15, 13 different flavors, you're going, oh wow, it's hard to make up your mind. So we're trying to build it into a value where it's affordable for folks to enjoy something they love. Absolutely. Now, let me ask you this, as if you, you already had me at beef jerky, but so I've seen a lot of your other stuff in here. These look really, really good. These are ones that catch mine and my wife's size right off the bat. Uh, these shops, like I was telling a guest that you had just a little while ago, some of our favorite. What's the story about your uh, fudge that you have here? So the fudge that we have is made by a small company. Our entire vibe and the way our business models, we want to work with small companies and then we want to work with local company. So this is a fudge that's manufactured for us by a small company in Pennsylvania. Okay. We have yet to find somebody local that would actually package for us. Okay. So we have sourced out to a Pennsylvania company. Um, they're the same company that does all of our roasted nuts, the Nutty Barbarian. Oh, I saw those over there too. But So great little snacks. You mentioned Sevierville. I think I heard you say a minute yes, ago. Sir, I did. So our cookie brand is... Classic cookie. They are a Sevierville company. Okay. And you can see that they sell out nonstop, but that's Sevierville, Tennessee. Yeah. Again, a local company that we're super excited to have a relationship with. Okay. And I saw you have a company, Bells. Bell's Looks like Software. some. Yeah. Again, you're going to get tired of hearing me say it. No, it's a please. Small company. They're out of Dallas, Texas, and we've built a relationship with them. And we work really hard to get a gourmet product at a lower price point. So when people are on vacation and buying items, they don't feel like their wallets get gouged like some places can make them feel. But, you know, Christy and I are all about, uh, our channel is about reviewing the local mom and pop shops, the local small business owners, because I find they have the best stuff that's going on. And again, you're supporting the same as we do, the smaller local independent business owners like yourself. As we walked around, I saw they have a lot of neat stuff over here. Same company, it looked like you had bells. Yeah, we have a little bit of bells around. Uh, and the reason why is because we sell so much of it. Okay. We'd like to have variety. We don't like people to come in and have the choice of one or two. We really go out of our way to do that and it's tough because we have a small shop absolutely but you've got a lot in here i'll tell you since i've been in here you've got a lot uh, you've accommodated all the guests that come and gone on here it's very air conditioned i want to give you credit for i hate not having air <laughs> so we find ourselves on being the friendliest coffee shop in the smokies and that's no joke i we think so we are 100 percent mom and pop 
And when you come into our store and you choose to give us your $10 bill, you are going to walk out of here happy or we're not happy. Absolutely. I love that. So for the $10, you, 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 did, you did catch that, didn't you? I love this guy already. And you know, they've got some neat little stuff in here, mom and poppy things. And if you guys need a little shirt, you guys want a place to stop, I'll tell you one thing that I'm really prideful about you look in the area. Um, these people are in the middle of, as I told you before, the Hillbillies restaurant that you guys saw, uh, the review we did on, and outside to the other side, they have the Sloppy Hog Burger Joint. So when you come in here, I'm going to joke, and Barry's probably going to get mad at me at one, and Jeff's going to get mad at me at the other, but but gee, he's going to love me here in a minute. Stop by and see him first. <laughs> the reason being is, while you're waiting in line, which you're probably going to have a little bit of wait, come in here and grab you guys some jerky, save yourselves time from going to the outletters and spending a little bit more money, support your local business owners, and support that guy right here. Oh, tell us. We've got what we call the Armageddon. Uh oh, no, no. The Armageddon is a competition jerky. It's oh. not something you buy just to munch on. Oh. So when you're at your barbecue and you got that guy just starting to give you a little bit of trouble, oh. now he can handle the hottest stuff in the world this is it the armageddon this oh. is how you close him that's how you shut him up for the day come on in and grab you a bag of that that's a fun thing in it did you hear what he said i heard there's somebody out there that's going to say i know somebody that can eat those hot chips all those so he's telling you look he's even got it locked up he says how big a boy are you you've heard me say that before well <laughs> you guys leave a comment let me know would you try this and if you do i want to see leave a comment let me know i either beat it or i didn't how, what's what's the score right now how many are uh I mean, we've had well, we've had everybody. Well, with most people that have done it, yeah, we've watched them cry. <laughs> on video. Any samples of milk available, just in case? So the milk is free before you get here. After okay. the competition, it's six bucks a jug. There you go, just six. Kidding, I, love <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hey, yeah, I love it. So you guys come on here and see it. Like it's a great little shop. If you're on Where's Valley Road, heading to a safe maybe Metcalf, you go out Line Springs, you go out and spend the day. Stop on by. It's a friendly little location. Very air conditioned, as I said, since I've been here. Very, very pleasant. The people are very kind and warm and welcoming. And you probably have a wait while you're next door. So come on in here, spend a little money, and support your local businesses. So thanks again. I appreciate you guys watching. As always, shout out to all the subscribers out there. And before I go, I want to show you guys something. You know me. I'm a big uh, coffee guy. Look at all the coffees they got back there waiting for you. Now, I know you're going to say it's too hot. It's too hot for coffee. No, it's not. It's never too hot for coffee. Your coffee yeah, drink. We got homemade crap mix. Ooh. We just put out anything you want. Our crap is 100% homemade. It's not a box of powder that we can cough. You'll love it. We can do some really good stuff with our crap mix. I love it. I love it. Thank you for that. I, I've tried a couple of those, but I'm, I'm an old fashioned coffee guy. Good old cream and sugar. You can't go wrong with the coffee, but I know. Live a little and buy something like that with all that stuff over there. So look at that. Love it. All right, you guys, have a wonderful day from here in the great Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. Look, I tied that in perfectly. Look at that. See y'all. This is Sean with We Review You. Thank y'all. See you soon.